Greetings, so Aries. This is going to be who is coming toward you April 2019. Happy belated birthday to all of my son Aries out there. I appreciate you watching. Um, this is, if I haven't said it already, this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Aries. You can check those placements as well. Please keep in mind that this is general energy, so I may or may not apply for you. Um, if you are interested in me tapping into your own personal energy, all the information that you will need will be in the description box below. Thank you all so much to all of my new and my old subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Comment if you'd wish. I'd love to hear from you all. If you are interested in daily paper card readings, you can follow me on Instagram at Bree Spirit Guide Insight. So let's see. Aries, who is coming toward you? 2019. Got the page of wands in reverse that fell out. And the tower card. So it could be someone um, that you have negative thoughts and feelings for because of something that suddenly occurred. Let's see. We got the ace of pentacles in reverse. The full card in reverse. Why is everybody getting the full card? I swear. Before I start these videos, I shuffled the deck at least like four or five times. And then as I'm talking, the intro, I continue to shuffle. And I don't know. Anyway, so we got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse as well. So the full card, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles all in reverse. We have the Ten of Swords, the Four of Swords in reverse, and the Four of Wands. We have the Magician card, the Ace of Cups in reversed, and the Seven of Cups. So let's see, why is the Magician card here before I start babbling? But I feel like um, it could be a Gemini, it could be a Virgo, it could be an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. It could be an Air sign, a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra. It also could be um, a Water sign with these cups here so it could be um a pisces a scorpio or a cancer so we got the ace of wands clarifying the magician card mm. i feel like with this person in particular um, it was a thing that may have not really even moved into anything with this person. Um, why is why is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? I feel like this could have been a person, um, whoever this is that's coming toward you, that could be really dependent on you for money is what I'm getting um, for some. I feel like this person is just like always in kind of like a rough spot or just always have something going on. And it's like once they hit a bad ending or once they hit like a bad situation or get into a bad situation, that's kind of like when they want to come in toward you. And it's kind of like you two may have this energy or this relationship. This could be a family member or just a friend or something. Um, and this is going to apply for some, not all. So take whatever resonates. I may tap into a lot of different energies um, while reading. But anyway, um, I feel like this person kind of has this energy of they're having a hard time. They come to you. You guys talk. You guys have that interaction, that bond. They may lean on you for... Um, some sort of stability, um, possibly money I'm getting. And it's like, there's that kind of reconnection of good energy between you and this person. And then it's like, once they kind of get everything solidified, you may not really care from them anymore. Or 
whatever, whatever. Um, and I feel like that's kind of why you're starting to see this person as a negative person, regardless of what the situation is, because I feel like this person could be draining or they're just like really expected of and very maybe dependent on your energy and what you can do to help them is what I'm getting. So why is the Ace of Pentacles, or no, I'm sorry, why is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Ooh. Okay, we got the Queen of Cups. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? I just feel like this person is a person who is not very stable and I feel like got the five of swords in reverse and the star card could be an Aquarius for some um Yeah, I just really get heavily that this is someone that depends on you for money or whether it's just uh, to talk or just to have you to be there. This doesn't necessarily, like I said, have to be like a love connection or anything like that. Knight of Swords. So I almost feel like this could be like a little cousin or your brother or um, just anybody that's coming in. Like someone I feel like that you kind of have this kind of pattern with where they're going through a hard time and then you hear from them and that's the only time you hear from them kind of thing. Why is the four of wands here? It could also be a thing here, Aries, where you have like um, a sexual connection with someone and it's like maybe um, things get on bad terms or just things kind of end harshly and then this person comes back in. Um, we have the page of pentacles. So I, I feel like regardless of the matter, this, this person just doesn't have a lot for themselves or they just don't have a lot to offer to you more clarity on the magician card you have the five of pentacles why is the ace of cups here i feel like this person is here with the intention of obtaining what they're trying to obtain and that's it with the ace of cups being in reverse with the moon card being in reverse um I feel like they're being honest of the way that they're feeling or um, let me see. Why is the seven of cups here? Yeah, I feel like this person is just kind of in the energy of exploring different options because I feel like. Um, there may be something that they're lacking. This may be a person, like I said, that's not very stable. They may not have like a lot of money or something like that. But I feel like they're coming, um, are kind of like kind of desiring to, um, be able to kind of say what needs to be said or, do what needs to be done but I feel like they're just kind of with the queen of pentacles in reverse this is someone who's unstable and I feel like they just don't like they're just kind of exploring all options here all the options that they have and I feel like you're one of their options and I feel like they see you as someone who um is very um abundant in the sense that you either have the wisdom or the money, the tangible realities to obtain certain things or to be able to help them um, redirect their path and whatever lack or whatever chaos they may be going on within this time. So yeah, let's see what your advice is, Aries, in regards to this person coming toward you. in regards to whoever this is coming toward them for 2019. Thanks. 
Aries, right? Aries and Jets for this person. We have the Five of Swords. Give me more clarity. One more card. One more advice message for the Aries. Listen, thank you. Mm, that's too many, honey. We, I just seen the Five of Pentacles, though, and that's coming up. So I kind of just feel like it's not really your fight to fight. And I feel like just let this person be a black and kind of like don't stress yourself out about this person and what they're trying to get. We got the two of cups. So I feel like connect with them on the on an emotional level, like maybe be there for them, sympathize with them, um, maybe reconnect things. Because like I said, I feel like this is a, per a person that comes in only when they're having harder times and they like need your help or something. But I feel like kind of connect on that, that energy. But I feel like don't make their problems your problems. I feel like that's going to be a big thing here. So Aries. I hope that this resonated for you. You can check your moon and um, rising sign as well. You also can book a personal reading with me. All the information will be in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching and for your um, support. And I'll see you next time.